Hi, am I on the air? Do I have everybody's attention now? Do I have everybody's attention now? John, I got you. John, Do I have everybody's Sunday attention night. now? You put them cameras on me, then you must be willing To get that heart touched, this a must-see feeling The news ain't good, then it must be villain So I say it's tag grounded, I don't trust these ceilings Spread across your nose, and I'm on your air Highest next on the cloud, am I in the air? Sunday night's prime time, I flex my better Voltron transform to DX Don, mega and unseen You probably think I'm nice, cause I slow like a stream To your wireless device, and the smoke full of steam on any given night, I'll show up like a piece of any given slice. Uh, and for the latest and what is best about I, tune in and tune the rest out, Don. You gotta tell them, am I in the clear? Is this thing gone? Am I on the air? On the air. Hey, hey, planet Earth or something? This is your boy Don Mega, and I welcome you to the show. We are broadcasting live from the Red Dragons Radio Studios for another brand new edition of Am I on the Air? And I'm so happy that you're here to join me tonight to get caught up with all the latest and the greatest when it comes to entertainment news, television, movies, reviews. You come right here to Am I on the Air? Once again, it is a Monday. It's April 11th, 2022. We are broadcasting live from the Red Dragons Radio Studios, and we are ready to rock and roll. I got three non-spoiler movie reviews for you, and then we're going to jump right into our news of the week. Does this sound like a game plan? All right. Strap on in, and let's get her going. I'm going to start off with a movie that I had a blast with this past weekend and that's the new Michael Bay movie Ambulance call the ambulance Ambulance this is Michael Bay kind of going down a little bit budget wise right he's doing a little bit more street level not Transformers not 200 million dollar movie just no CGI real stunts real cars blowing up and um, you know this is old school Bay right here and I know a lot of you are going to talk smack. I don't know what it is about Michael Bay. Some people love him. Some people hate him. Uh, not many people are in the middle when it comes to him. People have kind of made their... Uh, they've taken their stand when it comes to Michael Bay. But I love this dude. I love pretty much every movie Michael Bay has done. I'm an action junkie and nobody gives me my feels more than Michael Bay. Um, so this one here, man, is called Ambulance and it stars Jake Gyllenhaal, Yahya Abdul-Mateen II, the lovely Isaac Gonzalez. I love Isaac Gonzalez. She is so fine. Uh, I wish she would do more projects. I really, really do. Because I love when she pops up in anything. Um, Garrett Dillahunt, he pops up in this. You have seen him. You might not know the name, but when you see him, you're like, oh, that guy. So, yeah, that guy he pops up in a lot of shit. Uh, this, this movie's pretty straightforward, man. It's about a decorated veteran, Will Sharp, who is played by Yaya. He's desperate for money to cover his wife's medical bills and ask for help from his adoptive brother, Danny, played by Jake Gyllenhaal. A charismatic career criminal, Danny instead offers him a score, the biggest bank heist in Los Angeles history, $32 million. So, of course, this starts off like a normal bank heist kind of thing, right? We're going to get in, we're going to get out, we're going to have all this money, it's going to be great. But of course not, things don't go according to plan And they end up having to hijack this ambulance To uh, try to get away And of course the race and the hunt is on This movie is a little over two hours long And basically we are in the car chase 30 minutes into the movie So this movie for an hour and a half is truly a car chase movie Cops chasing this ambulance and them trying to get away It's insane and like I said, Michael Bay did a lot of practical um, effects for this movie, really blowing up these cars and doing all these really cool things that you know most people would just have green screened in after the fact. This is legit good stuff right here, man. This movie is an adrenaline rush. 
It's an action junkies kind of movie um, The way it's shot The way it's edited The frantic pace of it all Jake Gyllenhaal is fantastic in this Yahya Abdul-Mateen II is fantastic in this Isaac Gonzalez is fantastic in this Everybody plays their roles And plays them well And I was blown away by this movie I loved it It was just such a fun ride And um, what else can I say I don't want to go into spoilers I just want to let you know It was a hell of a ride I saw it in IMAX And I, I... if you have a chance to see this in an IMAX, I highly recommend it because this is the type of movie that IMAX is made for. You know, seeing something like this up on the big screen. I'm really bummed out that a lot of you guys didn't go out and support this movie over the weekend because, from a box office standpoint, which we'll talk about here in a couple minutes, uh, not the best debut. And I'm not really sure why because this is right up a lot of action junkies, you know, this is right up their alleys. So I don't know why a lot of people skipped this one this weekend. Uh, But hopefully people will catch on And they'll go check it out It's a positive on Rotten Tomatoes From both a critic and uh, fan standpoint So what you waiting for guys Ambulance 4 out of 5 sirens Let's go 4 out of 5 baby Number 2 The second movie I want to talk about Is actually the number 1 movie On the box office Speaking of box office And that is the sequel Sonic the Hedgehog 2 That's right pretty straightforward Sonic the Hedgehog 2 is back and man did this thing make a lot of money and we'll talk about that here in just a second but holy crap um this is a movie man my daughter absolutely loved the first sonic i wasn't even sure i wanted to see the first sonic movie but my daughter thought the trailer was great she wanted to go see it and i'll tell you i walked out of watching that first movie going that was a lot better than i thought and i actually really enjoyed it it was not one of those kid movies that i walked out of being like you know like that sucked (laughs) like no man it was good it was good it gave me what i needed gave me what i wanted and um and it gave my daughter what they needed right these movies are aimed for kids does it deliver first movie definitely did so here we are with the sequel, right? And we're up in the ante. We got um, Tails coming into the picture. We got Knuckles is here now, voiced by Idris Elba. Jim Carrey is back, of course, as Dr. Robotnik once again. Um, and Sonic, man, having to save the day and come together. Um, so again, you got Ben Schwartz's Sonic. Like I said, Idris Elba. You got Jim Carrey. You got James Marsden returning. Tika Sumter. Uh, Shamar Moore pops up in this one. So this movie here took my daughter over the weekend And I liked it man I liked it again It was a fun ride I don't know if I liked it more than the first one I see a lot of people going back and forth Some people say it is better than the first movie Others say it's not I'm kind of leaning on the it's not right now But not by much I I think that this movie is pretty in line with the first movie I just feel like I kind of walked away from the first one Enjoying it more But I really did like this one I did It's got some great laughs It's got some really cool jokes Um, The whole car ride home My daughter was just quoting things from this movie And that's how much it stuck with her And that's that's a good sign right there man So she gives it the 5 star seal of approval Um, I would give it I would give it 4 stars from a kid perspective Um, My original score when I logged this one Into my letterbox was 3 stars But the more I thought about it, I was like, you know what, for a kid movie, a Sonic movie, I don't know what else I could have really been expecting. So I'll move it up to four from that kid scale and uh, hook it up right there when it comes to Sonic because it's an enjoyable one, I think, for the whole family. So uh, after settling in Green Hills, Sonic is eager to prove that he has what it takes to be a true hero. His test comes when Dr. Robotnik returns, this time with a new partner, Knuckles, in search of an emerald that has the power to destroy civilizations. Sonic teams up with his own sidekick, Tails, and together they embark on a globe-trotting journey to find the emerald before it falls into the wrong hands. So there's your little summary there. And like I said, really enjoyed it. Daughter loved it. I liked it. Uh, My niece went with us. She really liked it too. So guys, and I think everybody's loving this one because it is... It continued to make more and more money over the weekend And that's a sign of great word of mouth So Sonic the Hedgehog 2 gets 4 gold coins um, 4 rings, 4 golden rings out of 5 
uh, from me. And my third movie is one I wanted to watch last weekend when it came out but didn't get a chance to. So I checked it out this weekend. It's called The Bubble. And this is a Netflix original directed by Judd Apatow, which I love Judd Apatow. When it comes to comedies, I don't think there's many people that are better suited to direct comedy than Judd Apatow. The 40-Year-Old Virgin is my all-time favorite comedy ever. And of course, he did Knocked Up, and he did This Is 40. Um, he's, he did um, Funny People. I like a lot of his work. So I was really excited about The Bubble because it was a Netflix movie. I saw the trailer. I saw the cast. And I was like, yo, this thing's got Karen Gillan, Nebula herself. It's got Iris Apatow, Fred Armisen, Maria Bakalova, uh, who was in um, the uh, Borat sequel. It's got uh, David Duchovny. It's got Keegan-Michael Key. It's got Leslie Mann. uh, And it's got Pedro Pascal. Dude, this is a hell of a cast right here. Um, so this movie here is about a group of group of actors trying to make a movie during COVID. That's right. There is a um, <laughs> there's a disease going around. I don't think they call it COVID in the movie, but there's like a pandemic and it's basically COVID. And they are at a hotel and they're trying to shoot a sequel movie while quarantining at this hotel. And of course, it goes through the ups and downs. Um, Going through the 14 day quarantine Somebody getting sick Having to go back into quarantine um, Just being cooped up with somebody Hence why it's called the bubble right They're trapped in this bubble for a couple months Trying to make this movie It's an action franchise that already has like 5 movies out And I think they're making the 6th and, <clears throat> and here we are Stuck in this world of the bubble So here's what I'll say about it For being a Judd Apatow movie I will say I was a little disappointed Because I have super high Expectations for Judd Apatow films Um, As a comedy And because it's on Netflix I think it made me Kind of forgive a little bit more And at the end of the day I did enjoy it I did There's some really good laughs Like I said the cast is great There's a lot of little cameos That pop up in this movie I don't want to give any away But when you watch it You'll be like Oh my god Oh my god Oh my god Like there's a lot of cool cameos That pop up in it And, um, And just the overall cast Is so strong and um, yeah, it's it's really solid For a Netflix film, it's solid Like I said, if this was in the theater And I had paid money I think I'd be more disappointed Because sometimes it feels a little all over the place It's not as hyper-focused as I thought it would be Coming from Judd Apatow um, But at the end of the day When it's a Netflix original I think I kind of adjust my expectations And kind of roll with it from there And with that being said I enjoyed it So I'd give the bubble 3 out of 5 bubbles So there you go there Alright, that's my 3 movies guys Let's recap We got Ambulance now in theaters I give 4 out of 5 stars Um, Sonic the Hedgehog 2 4 out of 5 stars Also now in theaters And The Bubble now streaming on Netflix I'd give 3 out of 5 stars So there you go Um, That's our reviews I don't have any new television shows To talk about this week yet um, Because I'm trying to finish some other stuff First before I jump into something new Once again so hopefully I'll have something Going into next week's show Um, Again I think I Skipped our title tonight It's season 24 episode 4 And tonight's show is titled The Hedgehog in the Ambulance Yes guys sometimes the title of the show works And sometimes it doesn't Uh, Tonight I feel is one of those that it doesn't But you know I like to put the movie titles together And that's what we came up with The Hedgehog and the Ambulance So we're going to roll with that one So there's our movie reviews of the week Let's talk box office And we're going to only do top 5 today Coming in number 5 it's The Batman Number 4 is Ambulance There it is and I'm disappointed y'all Like I said number 4 In it's debut And only made $8.7 million Come on we could have done way better than $8.7 million, So I'm really sad about that Go out and support Ambulance, it's awesome Coming in number 3, it's The Lost City Number 2 is Morbius Which took a 74% drop from week 1 to week 2 74% Ouch! I think that's one of the biggest ever uh, But it comes in number 2 And of course number 1, we talked about it Sonic the Hedgehog 2 Bling, 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 bling Coming in at number one with a massive 71 million dollars, guys. 71 million. 
um, Making more money than Sonic 1 did in its opening weekend That goes to show you how amazing of a debut it is 71 million people and families went out in droves To see Sonic this past weekend So congratulations there (coughs) Excuse me Alright With that all out the way Let's get into our news of the week Up first, something I didn't think I'd see The world of Sherlock Holmes is expanding That's right And we're talking about the Robert Downey Jr. Sherlock Holmes universe Which has two movies Was supposed to have a third movie that came out like five years ago And it just keeps getting delayed, 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 delayed Uh, They say they're still going to make the third one But who knows when we'll get that But supposedly Robert Downey Jr. himself and his production company Is looking to do some spinoffs They're going to do two Spinoff series over on HBO Max We don't know what these series will follow Supposedly the rumor is Is that in um, Sherlock Holmes 3 There's going to be two new characters That are debuting in the movie And that maybe uh, Each spinoff will follow The further adventures of each of those Two new characters that we meet So we'll see if that sticks It doesn't sound like uh, we'll have Sherlock himself I don't think Robert Downey's doing these shows But he is going to be a producer It is from his production company So he will be involved Um, But yeah, that's what we got guys Two Sherlock Holmes spinoff series In the works over at HBO Max Karen Gillan, she says You know, they're getting ready to finish filming Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 And she says it's been really fun to film And that this movie has uh, Allowed them to do the most Improvisation That they've ever done on set So I love that man If you can improv, let's improv So I like that they're giving them some freedom On this one here We have the season 3 trailer for Barry Which I love this show Barry It's coming to HBO later this month And it's about time man Season 2 was like 3 years ago So glad to see this season coming back Uh, Again guys if you want to check out Any of these trailers we talk about Head on over to our Twitter page over on twitter.com slash am I on the air and you'll be able to check out all this stuff. But yeah, check out that trailer for Barry. It looks really, really good. Uh Jason Momoa teasing the return of a former villain in Fast and Furious 10. Basically he's just talking about Charlize Theron. Um I'm gonna st- <laughs> God bless you. Thank you. Um Charlize Theron, who of course played Cypher in Fast 8 and Fast 9. Uh, Jason Momoa teasing that she is coming back Um, We've had rumors that she was coming back for this um, But nothing concrete But yeah, Jason Momoa talks about filming with her In this new movie So there you go, he spoiled it So there you go Um, Jurassic World Dominion Will officially be the longest film in the Jurassic franchise So get ready, make sure you use the bathroom first Netflix's To All The Boys spinoff series XO Kitty has officially begun production Fox has set season finale dates for shows like 911, 911 Lone Star, The Resident, Call Me Cat, and nine others. So check that out if you're interested to know when your shows are wrapping up. And on top of shows wrapping up, Fox has also set summer premiere dates for shows like Fantasy Island Season 2, Master Chef's Return, and a whole bunch more. So check that out. Uh, the show Snowfall over on FX that I know a lot of people love. The show is set to end with Season 6. So yes, they are pulling the plug. On Snowfall So the show will end with season 6 Looks like Season 3 of Star Trek Picard Will be it's final season And it looks like they're going to be recruiting Several next generation cast members So we're going to have a nice little reunion there We know that LeVar Burton and Michael Dorn Are returning along with Gates McFadden So um, that's just the start of it So it looks like we're going to have a pretty good Star Trek The Next Generation Reunion coming to the final Season of Star Trek Picard NBC has also set season finale dates for things like One Chicago, SVU, Young Rock, The Blacklist, and so much more So check that out if you're interested Rose Byrne getting physical, that's right, physical Season 2, Murray Bartlett is joining the cast And you have your first look at Season 2 of Physical I really like this show, it's a weird show, but I really like it um, Mainly because I love Rose Byrne, so um, this is an Apple TV Plus show So check that out if you're interested Netflix has officially created a short ass movie category Following the SNL sketch That's right, if you watch SNL, which I do A couple weeks ago, um, 
<laughs> Pete Davidson and some other cast uh, they they usually do some kind of like mock music video and they did a mock music video a couple weeks ago called Short Ass Movies talking about you know the just not wanting those movies that are over two hours long three hours long like I just want a short ass movie a short ass movie it was hilarious and because they talked about it Netflix said you ask and we shall deliver and they've added a short ass movie category following the SNL sketch coming out so that's so so awesome uh let's see here so um Damon Wayans and Pam Greer have joined the new thriller Cinnamon uh for Village Roadshow Pictures um let's see here Tommy Lee Jones Ben Foster Toby Wallace and Jenna Ortega are set to star in a new crime drama called Finest Kind Marvel's Avengers video game gets some more MCU skins that you could download So I always love when they add those up Rob Lowe is teaming up with his son for a new Netflix comedy series So we'll see there Um, We have an update on Will Smith's Deadshot movie That's right, they are looking to do a Deadshot movie But after all the drama of the Academy Awards a couple weeks ago with that slap um, Everything is on pause right now So um, complete freeze from Warner Brothers So don't know if we'll be getting that Deadshot movie If at all anymore We have the trailer for The Baby Michelle DeSuarte Gets stuck with an evil baby In the upcoming HBO miniseries So there you go There Sounds interesting I'll have to check this one out Warner Brothers is also pausing Any DC and future Ezra Miller projects After he was arrested last weekend So yeah he's been up to some uh, Crazy SHIT And um, you know he was arrested For disorderly conduct and harassment There's been a lot of things going on with Ezra And it's got Warner Brothers very Scared of course he's coming out In the new um, Secrets of Dumbledore movie from Fantastic Beasts this weekend He's got the Flash movie in the can But at this point Warner Brothers says They're going to pause any future Ezra Miller projects And kind of have more of a wait and see approach So we'll see what happens with that AMC is developing A new Bob Odenkirk led series For 2023 Called Straight Man Now of course uh, he's going to be wrapping up Better Call Saul It's final season starts later this month And so he's sticking around with AMC To do this new show Straight Man So that'll be coming out next year Gentleman Jack gets a season 2 trailer So check that out Teases the historical dramedies HBO return So there you go there Tickets have officially gone on sale For Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness The movie comes out May 6th Man what a journey this was I was trying to buy tickets very early that morning when tickets went on sale And um, Could not get in The damn app kept crashing I kept getting errors I mean it was a pain in the ace uh, After about trying for about Four to five hours I was finally able to get tickets But man I don't know when these ticketing apps Are going to get it figured out Because whenever a new big movie drops I went through this with Spider-Man No Way Home Whenever these big movies come out These apps crash And I don't know why they can't seem to handle it I'm buying a goddamn seat Like come on You gotta be able to handle the traffic guys Okay Okay Thank you Uh, But we got new posters up and everything So check out our social media Our Twitter Our Instagram Our Facebook Check out all that stuff man See all the really cool new posters And artwork for Doctor Strange Which also broke all kinds of pre-sale records from Fandango and everything else is the biggest debut pre-sale for 2022, biggest movie since Spider-Man No Way Home, and uh, I can't wait to see how much money this damn thing makes. It's gonna be pretty awesome. Amazon Studios is picking up a new Anthony Mackie and Priyanka Chopra assassin movie called Ending Things. I like these two, so I'm on board. Let's do it. Lock and Key getting renewed for a season 3 But it will also be the final season as well I like the show Lock and Key I have not watched season 2 yet I've just been so damn busy Can't wait to watch season 2 Glad it's coming back for a season 3 Let's see where it goes Uh, But congratulations there for Lock and Key 
Netflix is going to be releasing The Lincoln Lawyer up here soon It's a um, made for Netflix version Of course we had the Matthew McConaughey movie Not too long ago Um, Well it was probably about 7-8 years ago At this point Um, But yes we're going to get the Lincoln Lawyer Netflix show coming soon And uh, I'm looking forward to that man I really like that movie so we'll see where it goes Um We got the Morbius director explaining um, some Spider-Man connections and uh, some other stuff that happened in the movie. Spoilers ahead, so check out that article if you are interested. Um, Orphan Black is getting an offshoot called Echoes, and it's been ordered to series over on AMC Networks. Sunday Morning Baseball, are you ready? Peacock announces a slate of 18 games that are coming from the MLB to Peacock exclusively. Numi Rapace and Jonathan Banks are set to lead a new Constellation thriller over at Apple TV+. Plus. So that's been ordered to series, so very cool there. The Resident, uh, we have one of the actors has abruptly left the show after less than one season. So I don't want to spoil who it is, but check it out if you are interested. Animal Kingdom, final season coming to TNT. So take a look at the season 6 trailer. Um, let's see here. Severance officially renewed for season two over on Apple TV Plus. I'm so happy for this. I think Severance looks amazing. And this is one of the new shows that I want to check out and just haven't had a chance to yet. Coming very soon, I will be checking out Severance. That's for damn sure. Looking forward to this one. Glad to see that it's already been picked up for season two. Uh, Jessica Williams has joined the cast of the comedy series Shrinking Starring Jason Segel and Harrison Ford So I'm glad that they're stacking that one up So nice addition there Lily Rose Depp um, and uh, is set to star in The Governess So that is some uh, the gover- Governesses I think is the official name there um, So we'll see how that goes Stone Village is set to adapt Jillian Flynn's first publishing acquisition for television That's right, so uh, Jillian Flynn, who of course did Gone Girl So love her writing, and we'll see what they do here with this new acquisition The Bridgerton family on what comes next for season 3 and 4 So check that out if you're a Bridgerton fan Um, Let's see here, John Cena He's got a new movie he's doing called Officer Exchange And it's going to be an Amazon Prime exclusive movie So congratulations there A new police centric action comedy That is set in India Has officially been picked up by Amazon Studios We have the trailer for Conversations with a Killer The John Wayne Gacy tapes So check that out if you're interested Amazon's Anansi Boys Has just added Whoopi Goldberg to the cast As the Bird Woman Um, Russian Doll Season 2 trailer I loved Season 1 of Russian Doll I didn't really like the Season 2 trailer I didn't This doesn't look that good to me Uh, I'll still watch it because I like Season 1 a lot But was really bummed out Because this is another show I feel like we've waited 3 years for And the trailer was just like Really? That's what you're giving me? So, kind of disappointed Maya Erkstein Erkstein Has officially joined Donald Glover in Amazon's Mr. and Mrs. Smith series that they're doing Um, So there you go, she's the one that's stepping in for the Angelina Jolie role Um, Yeah, that was recently left open So I'm still looking forward to it I think a Mr. and Mrs. Smith TV series would be really, really cool We have the trailer for Crush, which is Hulu's next teen romantic comedy film Check that out Ridley Scott is producing an adaptation of the thriller novel Outside So that should be really cool The Cleaning Lady officially renewed for season 2 over on Fox This is another show that I've heard great things about I want to watch, just haven't had a chance to get into it So congratulations on The Cleaning Lady getting renewed I'll hopefully check you out one day Uh, In the Dark, Roswell, New Mexico um, Are all returning this summer over on The CW Tom Hiddleston is going to lead a new show called The White Darkness um, Which is coming to Apple TV Plus Bachelor in Paradise has been renewed for season 8 Judge Steve Harvey has also been picked up for season 2 over on ABC ABC has set summer premiere dates for The Bachelorette season 19 And 3 returning game shows and a whole bunch more Winning Time has officially been renewed for season 2 over on HBO 
Andre Holland has been eyed to play Black Panther leader UEP Newton in the upcoming Apple TV Plus limited series The Big Cigar. Laura Dern, Liam Hemsworth are set to star in a new Netflix romance called Lonely Planet. Peacock has officially ordered a reality show that helps people prepare to die. Moving on. Uh, yeah. Carrie Ells, Corey Stoll, and a whole bunch more have joined the cast of Zack Snyder's Rebel Moon. That's right. Remember his big sci fi kind of Star Wars y movie? So there you go, there. Some great additions. I love when Corey Stoll pops up in anything. Netflix has found a new director for Beverly Hills Cop 4. You won't know his name, so I won't bother with it. But there you go. They're still trying to do Beverly Hills Cop 4 with Eddie Murphy. This was surprising to me. Dancing with the Stars is actually going to be on Disney Plus starting next year. So that's right. It's officially moving. They had had 30 seasons on ABC. And the 31st and 32nd seasons will be exclusive to Disney Plus. So big, big cue uh, for Disney Plus to get something like that on its platform. MGM has enlisted Laura Kosan to write the supernatural fantasy pick Mercy Sparks. Angela Bassett is joining Millie Bobby Brown in Netflix's fantasy film Damsel. The Crown prequel series is in early development over on Netflix. Omar Sy and Kerry Washington are set to star in a new Joe Carnahan action thriller called Shadow Force. I love Joe Carnahan and he knows how to do action, so I'm on board, baby. Let's go. Thor Love and Thunder breaks a Marvel record that you don't want, and that's its lack of a trailer. That's right, with only three months to the movie's release, it is the shortest window of any Marvel movie to not release a trailer. Where... Oh, where is the Thor Love and Thunder trailer? I have a feeling it will drop this week. I have a pretty good feeling it's going to drop this week at some point. But why are they waiting so goddamn long? Some are speculating that they won't release it until after Doctor Strange, which would be pretty interesting in its own right. Um, so we'll see. We'll see. But man, movie comes out in three months, guys. Need me a trailer. It's my most anticipated film of the year. Let's go. SWAT has officially been renewed for season 6 over on CBS Yes, I love SWAT, so congratulations there for that coming back um, The Rookie spinoff trailer, that's right, FBI trainee Nisi Nash is the real deal In a two-part two backdoor pilot that'll be airing on The Rookie But they're looking to spin off her character into its own show So you can finally check that out uh, Will Smith, they, uh, you know, the, the board met and they figured out his punishment And that is, he is banned from the Oscars for 10 years That's right So he can still be nominated He can still win He just can't go to the ceremony for 10 years Is that really a punishment? That sounds pretty cool He can still win from his couch So, congratulations to Will Smith Also, congratulations to Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck, who are officially engaged. Congratulations, Ben. He put a ring on it. Mm -mm. He put a ring on it. Mm -mm. Yeah, there you go, baby. Uh, Warner Brothers and Discovery, they closed their mega deal. um, And they're going to be creating some new scripted and unscripted content. Oh, man, I can't wait to see what happens between HBO Max and Discovery Plus. How will it merge? Uh, man, it's going to be interesting to see I think we're going to find out more next month And see how that's all going to roll together Peter Ramsey Is going from the Spider-Verse to the Star Wars Universe That's right, he's the director Of Into the Spider-Verse And he's been tapped to direct at least One episode, if not more Of Ahsoka uh, With uh, Rosario Dawson there for Star Wars on Disney Plus So very cool, I love that Edition there Malcolm Barrett, Michaela Conlin are set to lead a new CBS comedy called Hug Machine. Gloria Calderon Kellett, uh, her show With Love has officially been renewed over on Amazon. Never heard of this show before. It's a rom com, I guess, that debuted in December and did really well. So there you go. <laughs> it's got renewed. Um, what else we got over here? Brie Larson. Joining Fast and the Furious 10, baby That's right, Vin Diesel announced this on his Instagram Yes, Brie Larson, Captain Marvel herself will be in Fast 10 We don't know who she's playing I'm going to go out and a guess And I'm going to say she's Charlize Theron's sister uh, Maybe um, Vin and his crew get her to help them catch Charlize 
Who knows? Or maybe she'll be a villain too. There's a lot of villains in this movie. Jason Momoa was there, so maybe she'll just be another villain teaming up with her evil sister. But I love this addition. I love Brie Larson, and it's a, never a mistake to add talent. And she's a great addition for Fast and Furious 10. I love it. Fast 10, your seatbelts, baby. Because here we go. Brie Larson joining the family. Jessica Alba is set to star in a new uh, movie called Confessions of the 745, which is coming to Netflix. Carl Urban teases a potential villainous turn for Billy Butcher on The Boys. Ooh, I can't, I can't wait for The Boys to come back. An Aqualad series is in development over on HBO Max from producer Charlize Theron. We were just talking about Charlize, that's right. HBO Max is developing a series version of the Aqualad graphic novel, You Brought Me the Ocean, with Charlize Theron attached to produce. The series will be a live-action, one-hour dramedy based on the characters from the graphic novel by Alex Sanchez and Joel Morrow. The series will explore the life of Jackson Jake Hyde, a gay teenager living in New Mexico who is still exploring his powers of being able to breathe underwater, control the water, and a whole bunch more. The series will also deal with Hyde falling in love with his classmate, the high school swim captain, Kenny Liu. No writers currently attached to the developing project, but actress Charlize Theron, A.J. Dix, Beth Kono, and Andrew Haas of Denver and Delilah Films will all act as executive producers on the series. No official actors have been discussed yet as well, so it's currently unclear when more information on the series will be known. So remember once again that this is the Jake Hyde version of the character, because we did see a live-action version of Aqualad, but we saw the Garth version on uh, Titans when we, uh, I think it was in season two. So this is not that version of Garth. It is the other version there from Young Justice. So just so we're clear. Alrighty, guys, moving along. We got up Morbius Easter eggs, all the teases and references. So check that out if you're interested. On the Verge has officially been canceled over on Netflix. Brian Cranston and Aaron Paul are going to appear in the Better Call Saul final season. So there you go, guys. You will get Walt and Jesse. All right, we have the Kids Choice Awards. You can see everybody that won on the new edition that went off this weekend. Um, Dan, let's see, we talked about that. We talked about that. My notes got a little mixed up there. Hold on. Emily in Paris, Lucien LaViscount, uh, has been up to a series regular for season three. Kiernan Shipka will return as Sabrina for an upcoming episode of Riverdale, plus season six's musical episode will tackle American Psycho. So there you go there Of course she was from the Sabrina show on Netflix So they're doing another Riverdale crossover We got some character posters for Doctor Strange And the Multiverse of Madness Make sure you check that out on our Twitter and our Instagram We own this city We got the new trailer which spotlights a dysfunctional Police department I think this show looks great coming to HBO soon Adam Sandler reteaming with the Safdie brothers. That's going to be a really cool thing. Of course, they did the movie Uncut Gems in 2019. I loved Adam Sandler and Uncut Gems. I love that movie. So very cool to hear that they're going to do something together once again. So we don't know what that is, but they are working on something. We have the First Lady teaser trailer, which highlights three remarkable women. That's right, Viola Davis, Gillian Anderson. Um, going to star in this. this. is coming, I believe, to Showtime. Ironheart, things are moving along there for Marvel Studios' Ironheart as they've tapped in two directors for the series and Ryan Coogler from Black Panther, he is going to executive produce so I love that because of course we're going to meet her in Black Panther 2 so I love that he must have found some connection there and he's like, you know what, I want to be involved in that show as well so that's very, very cool Casper the Friendly Ghost is getting a live action series in development over on Peacock So that would be pretty cool I think my daughter would love something like a Casper the Friendly Ghost Will Ferrell has joined the cast of the Barbie movie Starring Margot Robbie I love it Love anything with Will Ferrell But this one's really stacking up to be a great cast We have the trailer for Paul's of Fury This movie looks horrible They showed me this trailer before Sonic 2 And oh my god this looks bad But hey check out the trailer for Paul's of Fury If you're interested we also have the trailer for Senior Year Which stars Rebel Wilson as she goes back to high school In the upcoming Netflix comedy um, National Treasure You know they're making a TV show version That's coming to Disney Plus it, we, It's official, it does take place In the National Treasure 
movie universe as they have just announced that Justin Bartha is going to return for the Disney Plus series. He, of course, was in the other two National Treasure movies with Nicolas Cage, so great addition there to see him returning for the show. Stranger Things Season 4 will bring an expanded scope and longer episodes, so I love that, man. It's about time. We need to get me some Stranger Things. I'm ready. You know the spirit Halloween stores that pop up every October? They're getting a movie. Why? I don't know, because Hollywood has run out of ideas sometimes. Spirit Halloween the movie, that's right, starring Christopher Lloyd and Rachel Lee Cook, is officially in development. Yeah, I'm not lying. Percy Jackson. We talked about Percy Jackson getting a Disney Plus series as well. Walker Scoble, who played the young Ryan Reynolds in The Adam Project, he has been cast as the lead for the live-action Disney Plus adaptation. So, great job, man. I love this kid in The Adam Project. He was awesome. So, very happy for him to be the new Percy Jackson. So, that's very, very cool. We have the Season 3 trailer for For All Mankind, which is coming to Apple TV+. Plus. A lot of people love this show. I don't watch this one, but check out the Season 3 trailer for All Mankind. The Batman... It's coming to HBO Max, baby. Officially in one week. That's right. Next week, next Monday, April 18th, the Batman will be available on HBO Max. And then if you don't have HBO Max and you just maybe have HBO, it'll start streaming on HBO starting Saturday, April 23rd. So there you go there. Um, But yeah, it's a lot sooner than we thought it would be. Um, But there you go. April 18th, baby. We can finally watch the Batman again. The Boys executive producer, along with Jason Bateman, are teaming for a new true crime thriller that will be over on Peacock. And with that being said, we're done, baby. 40 minutes in the can. Swoosh! Thank you so much for joining me on this new episode of Am I on the Air? I hope you enjoyed yourself, and I hope you're leaving with some knowledge, because knowledge is power. Uh, make sure you follow all the socials. It's amiontheair.com is the official webpage. Make sure you bookmark that. Um, like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash amiontheair. Follow us on Twitter at simply amiontheair, all one word. Follow me on Twitter too at dxdonmega, D-O-N-M-E-G-A. Make sure you follow that. Don't forget the DX in the front. Um, of course, subscribe to us on Apple Podcast if, you, if you're an Apple person. If you're not and you're Android, you can get us on Spotify. You can get us on iHeartRadio, Podchaser, Spreaker, Stitcher, TuneIn, Google Podcast, Amazon Music. We're on all the big platforms, baby. Pandora. I mean, dude, just search Am I on the Air. You'll find us. Don't forget to subscribe to us on TikTok and Instagram and YouTube. We're always on all those platforms as well. I do video reviews on our TikTok. I share them on our Instagram. So make sure you follow along to get those movie video reviews. Uh, When they come out, I do 60-second quick thought reviews. Uh, So I hope you guys enjoy that. And um, shout out to our great affiliates at reddragonsradio.com. We really appreciate them. And follow on Twitter at reddragonsradio, all one word. Okay, that'll do it for me on this Monday, April the 11th. I hope everybody has an amazing week. And next week, we'll see what the show brings us. So till then, take care of yourselves and each other. Peace. Bye, everybody. Red Dragons! Red Dragons!